California court further confirms Subaraya's international Ultraman rights. So I thought this was pretty crazy. <laughs> I read this right before the uh, podcast started to Augie. And we learned <laughs> some potte <laughs> Sang Duen Chai, <laughs> oh a gosh. Thai businessman. <laughs> so basically what happened is Subaraya Productions contested UMC's claim of possessing the international licensing rights for Ultraman, Ultra Q, Ultra 7, uh, and I think some other stuff, right? Right. And uh, basically, UMC had sublicensed the rights to these things to Verdana Entertainment in 2014, and Verdana put up the, the early Ultraman series on YouTube, and they had that like a DMCA takedown from Super Raya to take that down. And basically, as these legal things unfolded, <laughs> we learned Super Raya, the, the owner of that company, uh, what was the guy's name? Something Super Raya? Noburu Super Raya. Okay. So, so Super Raya, the company, asserted that uh, saying, I'm not going to try to press it, Sang Dwin Chai, okay, there we go, first presented the document to the company in 1996, the year after Noboru Subarai had passed away. Uh, so basically what this all boiled down to is that according to what is in this article, Sampote Sang Dwin Chai had forged the signature of Noboru Subarai to give him the right to basically... <laughs> all of Ultraman. It says here that the international rights of Ultraman and all derivative works in, quote, all territories except Japan for indefinite period from the date of production of the first negative print, <laughs> right? So he basically, uh, according to this article, had given himself permission to have everything by forging the signature, something that for some reason in Thailand, where he's from, uh, he was convicted of forgery, but the, the document was determined to be authentic in Japan for some reason. Uh, and that they actually had to, they contested it by, they took a digital version of his um, passport was presented as evidence to try to see if he was even in Japan on March 4th, 1976, to which they, the judge noted that digital copies uh, such as the one presented in evidence are easily altered or forged. And they could not prove that each separate image, meaning like, all the pages that were scanned and put into the PDF or whatever uh, were from the same passport. But I just, <laughs> I just think it's so funny that from the way it sounds, at least is that this, this Thai businessman, some point they sang swing Chai had, uh, had literally swindled for like decades, <laughs> super Raya's rights um, to just have them and, and distribute things and sub license. And I just, it was like the con of the century. I thought that was so funny. 